Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about the rotation of the earth and the rotational direction of the earth. I know this is an age old topic and cliche as well since you have been learning about this topic uh, since your childhood and your school days. But believe me, this video is going to give you an entire new dimension and perspective to the rotation and the rotational direction of the earth. In this video, we are not going to be more concerned about the rotation of the earth, rather the rotational direction of the earth what exactly is the rotational direction and how it works. So let us not waste much time and see how it works. And for the purpose, let us go to the space. This is our earth and to our right is the sun. Before we start about the direction of the rotation of our earth, which is our actual topic, let us take a brief look at the rotation of the earth first. Well, spinning of the earth on its axis is called rotation. And it is precisely because of the rotation of the earth we experience day and night. Now the question is to which direction does it spin? Since the sun is to our right, it is obvious that this is east and naturally this is west. And the topmost direction is north and the bottommost direction is south, right? Now tell me, how is the earth rotating? I mean like this from west to east or like this from east to west. Tell me, what's your take? What should be the correct option? Option A, right? Since we have already been taught in our schools, right? Good. In case you want to change your opinion, you can change it right now. And if not, then let me surprise you. And for this surprise, let me take you to the space again. I your teacher am behind the earth delivering this lecture and you are right in front of me and between you and me there lies our earth rotating from west to east i guess so far there is no issue in understanding right but the actual magic starts from here now listen to me very carefully from your perspective the earth is spinning from west to east right but what about from my perspective, who is sitting behind the earth and teaching you. Have you ever tried to look at the rotational direction of the earth from my side? Still confused? Okay, let me call you to my side and show you how the earth spins. See, if you come to my place, the sun is to my left and the direction in which there is sun, it is considered east, right? And to my right, is the direction west. Now tell me, how is the earth spinning? From west to east or east to west? Correct again, east to west. And that's the magic which I personally wanted you to feel. What is the exact rotational direction of the earth? Still scratching your head, baffled? And if it is the case, why at all levels of education, be it primary level, higher education, or even in our research papers, we are still being taught the earth rotates on its axis from west to east and not from east to west. Don't you think it is comprehensively unfair? Well, uh, I would say that uh, I bluffed you here and uh, I deliberately tricked you. This is uh, not the case exactly the earth rotates on its axis always from west to east, not from, it has never been so and it will never be like that. The earth always rotates on its axis from west to east and not from east to west. Even if you see the earth from my perspective, from my perspective also the earth rotates on its axis from west to east. Actually, we do not decide whether any direction is west or east, merely looking at the position of the sun. Just looking at the position of sun we cannot decide the direction is east or west. Actually, it is the direction in which the sun rises or the sun sets that decides which direction is east and which is west. Let us try to understand in a different way. Look at this illustration. Since the earth is spherical, the sun's rays cover only the half portion of it, signifying day and the rest half part of the earth always remains in dark signifying night right this day and night portion of the earth is basically separated by 
this circle here it seems like a straight line but actually it is a circle which is called circle of illumination and when any point like this while the spinning of the earth reaches at the circle of illumination it experiences the sunlight coming from this direction which means sunrise and since the sun is rising from this direction or the point is moving towards the sun from darkness to illuminating part it is east and obviously this is west and thus from the student's point of view that means from your perspective the earth is spinning from west to east got it and since one perspective is now clear let's jump to the second one that is to the teacher's perspective see the same point and see how the earth is spinning in the same direction and the point is also moving but this time away from the sun and when it reaches the circle of illumination the point feels the sun is setting to its left which means this is west where the sun is or in the direction in which the sun is setting not east the sun is not rising in this direction rather it is setting in this direction which earlier we plainly assumed looking at the position of the sun that it is east actually it is not east since the sun is setting amazing isn't it yes indeed so even if the earth is seen from my that is from the teacher's perspective the earth is moving from west to east not east to west got the point i hope it is clear to you now and since this part is clear to you let's delve a little deeper please have a careful look at the rotational direction of the earth now it is spinning this way and if i turn the north pole to your side like this we observe the earth is spinning counterclockwise right and magically the earth when seen at the south pole from the space like this wait like this we observe that the earth is spinning clockwise so regarding the rotational direction of the earth finally we can deduce three things number one when the earth is seen at the equator from the space it rotates from west to east and when the earth is seen at the north pole from the space it rotates counterclockwise and when the same earth is seen at its south pole from the space it rotates clockwise i hope this video would have given you an entire new dimension to your thinking regarding the rotation and the rotational direction of the earth if you really like this video do share it among your family and friends subscribe it and like it also thank you thank you very much